They say fashion is for everyone. However, some are still finding it quite hard to choose the perfect clothes to match their body types and to guide us on how to accentuate our best features. We have here in the studio image consultant and fashion entrepreneur, Pia Lizares. Good morning, Pia. Good morning, Pat. Well, first, can you briefly explain to us the different body types? So we have basically four basic body types, which is namely we have the straight body type, the hourglass, we have pear shaped and the inverted triangle. Okay, so what styles can you recommend based on those? Okay, first for the straight, um, as you can see, when you say the straight body, you have no shape. So color blocking will work for the straight body type because the print already has a shape. So when you wear this, it's, it would seem like you have an hourglass figure on you. So it would give you the illusion that of you have a sexy yes. and curvy body. Uh -huh. Okay, for the hourglass figure, which one can you recommend? For the hourglass figure, it would be good for you to accentuate your waist. Because if you tend to wear something too baggy, it will look as if you're overweight or, or heavier sloppy. than you are. Yes. And also, the v-neck is good for the hourglass shape because it would give you an illusion of a longer neck. Mm, that's good. Okay, mm -hmm. for the rectangle or the inverted triangle? For the inverted triangle, um, mm -hmm. anything that won't add volume on top would be good. So this one yes. is a version of the peplum? A version of the peplum that's not too bulky on top. So um, it would add hips. For cause When you say that you're an inverted triangle, you have small hips and broad shoulders. At the same time, it won't add volume on top. Because okay. that's what we'll try to avoid, to add too much volume in the shoulder area. So the general rule is you have mm -hmm. to balance yes. what is on top with what's mm -hmm. bottom. Okay, for the triangle shape or the pear-shaped uh, body, what would you recommend? Actually, the peplum would also work well for the pear shape. Because as you can see, this one, um, when you're pear-shaped, you're usually conscious with your poson, what. That? Or your lower abdomen yes. and even your hip bone. And the peplum would tend to hover that area. I'm actually like that. I'm very uh -huh. conscious about my Can lower you stand body. Up? Okay, so this style actually does wonders. Yes. So you would As notice you can see the black the black part mm -hmm. dark, um, minimizes her hip area. So it would this would work well for the pear shape also. Okay, so you mentioned that black is a is a wonder color. So, are there other colors that you can use to minimize or maximize a specific body part? Um, generally, the rule is um, for the areas you want to look slimmer, you have to wear darker colors in, in those areas. And for the areas you want to emphasize, you have to wear brighter colors in those areas. Okay, so what general advice can you give to women out there in selecting clothes? Um, for the general advice, um, I could say that you, sh you should have to consider two things when choosing your outfit. One is your body type and two um, is your lifestyle or job description. Yes. Okay, thank you so much, Pia. Okay, so for people out there who are quite wary about prints or who are very scared to select colors, well, now you know that you can use light shades for those you would want to accentuate and darker shades for those you want to minimize. Thank you so much for your advice. And that is image consultant Pia Lizares. Back to you, Claire and Hillary.